He grew up on the ragged edge of the middle class in Scranton. He committed to public service early in life and never stopped serving. And he's faced unspeakable tragedy with fortitude and grace. And these experiences animate the empathy he extends to Americans who are struggling, no matter what their story. Empathy matters. And in this moment of crisis, it is more important than ever that the next president restores Americans' faith in good, effective government. Joe Biden has spent nearly his entire life in public service. He knows that a government run with integrity, competence, and heart will save lives and save livelihoods. And we can't afford to let Donald Trump continue to endanger the lives and livelihoods of every American. And that's why I'm proud to endorse Joe Biden as President of the United States. Pick me, Joe! Pick me! Please, pick me as your running mate! Nobody else will pander to you as much as I'm doing right now with this commercial. Begging you, begging you to pick me as your running mate. Please, Joe, pick me! I've seen the Vice President help a community heal. One year to the day after the Boston Marathon bombings that tore up bodies and tore our sense of safety and community, he was here. People who'd been hurt, people who were afraid, he gave them peace and he gave them grace. I watched it up close. We are Boston. We are America. We respond. We endure. We overcome. And we own the finish line. But when Donald Trump is gone, we will need to do more than heal a nation that has been bitterly divided. We will need to rebuild and transform our country. And I've seen Joe Biden help a nation rebuild. In 2009, President Obama put him in charge of leading the implementation of the historic Recovery Act to save our economy and help working families. During the recovery, and later when I worked in the White House setting up the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, I saw him up close, doing the work, getting in the weeds, never forgetting who we were all there to serve. Joe Biden is the kindest, warmest, most wonderful human being I have ever known in my life. So please, Joe, pick me! Pick me! I don't want to go back to the Senate! I want to be up there! Please, pick me! Among all the other candidates I competed with in the Democratic primary, there's no one I've agreed with 100% of the time over the years. But one thing I appreciate about Joe Biden is he will always tell you where he stands. When you disagree, he'll listen. And not just listen, but really hear you and treat you with respect, no matter where you're coming from. And he's shown throughout this campaign that when you come up with new facts or a good argument, he's not too afraid or too proud to be persuaded. Joe Biden was there at the very moment I became a senator. He swore me in, and when he did, he said, you gave me hell and you're gonna do a great job. Because that's the thing about Joe. He wants you in the fight with him. And when you're in the fight with Joe at your side, you know you have a partner who's committed to getting something good done for this country. Joe Biden is a selfless public servant. He is committed to the fight for social, racial, and economic justice. Joe Biden will lead a government that works for the American people. And now it's up to all of us to help make Joe Biden the next president of the United States. Let's get to work. Go to JoeBiden.com right now and chip in your five bucks, make some phone calls, send some texts. We are all in this together now. I was so close. I was at the top of the heap until I fell during the actual primary elections. Oh, please, Joe, you can put me up there again. Oh, I tasted victory. You can help me. Joe, please pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Subscribe to the Dummy Funnies now.